Hi, keeping everyone up to date on the solar industry because, well, I'm into solar and um, everyone seems to like my solar power videos. Anyway, second channel video. Let's do it. Um, Elon Musk uh, tweeted uh, August, I know, a couple of days ago, was it? Yep, that um, Tesla Solar has just relaunched. LMK, let me know what you think. I'm not up in this hip jargon. Okay, well, let's have a look. They relaunched their solar panel business. You can rent one for 50 bucks a month. So that's interesting that they're going into the, uh, you know, the solar as a service model, I guess. Um, you can rent them and you can just, yeah, if you're not happy, why is there a dog that looks like Yoda? Okay. Anyway, 50 bucks a month or 65 in California. Um, why is California different? Is there a tax on solar panels? <laughs> Seems weird. Uh, besides California, rentals will be offered Arizona, Connecticut, Massachusetts, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm not going to get one here anytime soon. I got my own. Thank you very much. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. It's it's interesting. You can rent it and then presumably if you don't like it, what, they come and take it away? <laughs> or like take away all the infrastructure? Like you've got to, like there's a lot of effort that goes into, I'll link in at the end of this, my, so the install video for my solar, home solar system. And you know, there's a lot involved. They've got to drill things through the tiles and put in, you know, the bracket systems and everything. But anyway, I guess they're, they're counting on most people just will like it and they'll keep it. Anyway, that's interesting. Rent your solar panels. Okay. Well, uh, so we could go, we could go in and we could, you know, anyway, I'm not in the U S due today, a hundred bucks for a large one. No, I don't care. Look, we're not, we're not going to do that. And of course this solar, you notice that they're not solar freaking roof tiles. Um, yeah. So wonder what happened to the solar roof tiles. Haven't really investigated, but yeah, that didn't go very far as I, kind of sort of predicted in my solar roof tiles video I did a few weeks uh, a few weeks a few years ago and I'll link that one in as well as if you haven't seen it which was my thoughts at the time when uh, Elon announced the solar roof tiles thing which wasn't new a lot of companies a lot of big companies had tried it many years before and and failed it just wasn't a concept that works so anyway they got panels. Of course, this is through their subsidiary, uh, what is it, Solar City or whatever, but they're actually Tesla Energy. So it doesn't matter what I think. Let's see what Walmart think. Breaking news. Breaking news. This just came out today. Walmart sues Tesla over solar panel fires at seven stores. Seven different stores. Walmart is suing Tesla for breach of contract after Tesla solar panels ignited the top seven of its stores. Tesla and Walmart have been partners on clean energy initiatives for years. More than 240 Walmart stores have Tesla systems installed. They pre-ordered at least 45 Tesla electric semi-trucks. I wonder how they're doing. I was going to do the calculations on the electric trucks, but yeah, it, it, it's not good. Just the weight of the batteries alone, just like it's like many many tons and that chews up your usable capacity anyway we won't go into that so um, seven stores it's not just one or two it's seven and uh, let me get the confuser out here um seven divided by uh 240 now i'm not very good at the mathematicals but uh that's about 2.9 percent failure fire not just failure rate but fire rate wow houston we have a problem uh, something's wrong. Anyway, let's, let's see, see, let's listen to what CNBC have to say about this. Top of seven Walmart stores have caught fire, allegedly. So the suit is alleging allegedly. breach of contract, gross negligence, and also failure to live up to industry standards. So Walmart would like Tesla to remove solar panels from all 240 Walmart store locations where they've been installed and to also pay damages related to the fires that Walmart says that Tesla has caused. Now, we have reached out to both companies about 45 minutes ago. We have not heard back. But again, Walmart suing Tesla, claiming that the solar panels on top of the roofs of seven stores have caught fire, asking for them seven. to pay damages and also asking wow. them to remove the solar panels from all 240 locations. They've had they enough have installed. Mike, I'll send it back to you. Rahel, thank you very much. You know, this is only likely to stoke criticism for Tesla. I mean, it really dates back to when Tesla acquired SolarCity sure. back in, what, 2016, $2.6 billion. And there was controversy even then. And of course, a company that Elon Musk also controlled, SolarCity. So, yes, it was a little bit of an inside deal. Uh, do we uh, want to hear the financial stuff? No. We don't. Anyway, there you go. Like 2.9% of the <laughs> Tesla solar panel or solar city installations on the roofs have caught fire 
unbelievable. Anyway, I won't uh, go through cancelling a rented rooftop. The fine printed. Oh, there you go for the for the rent in. Fifteen hundred. There you go. Fifteen hundred. That answers that. A fifteen hundred dollar fee to take out the solar panels and restore the customers' roofs. There you go. So if you want to exit um, that solar rental scheme, anyway, yeah, that, that's not unreasonable, I guess. You know. Anyway, <laughs> dropped more than one percent after the news. There you go. Anyway, this just this news just broke today. These, I believe, these are some of the photos. Oh, from. A Walmart store, this one here, it appears it's not actually annotated, but uh, it, it, I don't think it's a stock photo. I think that is, a, that looks like a Walmart's Yuba City, California store. There you go. So that's, that's what happens. Look, fires on solar systems are not exactly uncommon because they're, especially if you, you string them in series. Now, I thought in the US that somebody told me that in the US, please correct me if I'm wrong, that... They weren't allowed to string them in high voltage uh, series like is like on my rooftop, for example. I've got about 450 volts DC on my on one string. I've only got the one string. I've got 12 panels on one string that go into the inverter. And of course, when you get a high voltage like this and it's DC, the arc over is incredible. You <laughs> don't try this at home, but if you if you just had like a couple, like three or four panels your regular, you know, a couple of hundred watt panels or whatever, put them in series and then uh, very carefully um, try and short it out and then pull it across. You'll get massive plasma arcs like this. Once you've actually started that, the air ionizers forms a plasma and then a low conductive path. So it's not high enough voltage to arc across there. So you can hold them like that and it's not going to arc across. But if you short them out and then slowly bring them apart, you can get these massive plasma arcs it, it really is quite you know there's a lot of energy in there and dc because it's dc and it doesn't reverse like ac in reverse direction the it the, it just maintains this plasma arc it doesn't self-extinguish so you know high voltage dc ones are really an issue so yeah i thought in the u.s um there was regulation that said they had to put had to use like micro inverters or something like that would which would help actually uh prevent this um, sort of thing because the DC isolators I've mentioned this before my DC isolator failed a big thing in those is arc over and they catch on fire a lot might see if I can edit in uh, some photos of uh, some uh, DC isolator file so fires so that's maybe where it started so solar panel fires are not um, un unheard of then you know they're reasonably common in the industry anyway here's here's the lawsuit there you go Walmart Inc versus uh, Tesla Energy um, Inc aka Solar City Corporation so there you go and Walmart want them to pay damages remove all 240 of them I don't blame them if it was only one or two like you know once you start seeing three like whoa <laughs> something seriously wrong that's a pattern they've gotten seven uh not uh it looks like uh, they started one of them in 2012 one in 2016 one in 2017 and then uh then three of the fires happened first half of 2018 eventually led tesla to de-energize all 240 power cells oh, so they've turned them off They've gone in and Tesla have gone, oh, yeah, okay, this is a problem, 2.9% <laughs> causing fires. Wow, that's just, that's just incredible. So, yeah, that's a real big, de that is a massive failure rate. So, whether or not there's something wrong with the, uh, the Solar City panels or whether or not it's just the uh, installers that Tesla, are, do Tesla install them themselves? Do they actually have staff to install them or do they hire subcontractors, which is, uh, well, here in Australia, like it's it's almost universal that you just get some independent uh, contractor in to install these sorts of things. But that's, that 2.9% have caught fire. That's incredible. Just with one customer, Walmart, let alone other customers. That's just incredible. Wow. So yeah, bad news for Tesla and uh, or Tesla Energy, Tesla Solar City, whatever they're called. Wow, not good. Anyway, if you've had a, a solar system catch fire or almost catch fire, or your DC isolators melted, or you know something like that, please let us know in the comments down below. So yeah, that's not terrific. I do plan on expanding my system uh, because I've got more roof space available. I can put another, at least another four panels, maybe five. So uh, of course, since I installed mine with the Mono X uh, panels, the new Neon, the LG Neon panels are 
available now and they're like 340 watts compared to like 270 or 280 watt ones that I've got installed now and I'll of course I'll have to put those in another string which goes into the inverter and it's early days yet but I might be looking into um, the fillers are out there might be looking into a battery storage solution so uh, the wheels are in motion potentially for a battery you know, I'll get a battery storage solution and then maybe it makes sense to get an EV Ooh. and if you're not following me on Twitter you should I just announced today on Twitter that I just got a Tesla I caved in I bought a Tesla <coughs> yeah right anyway cool number plate catch you next time Hello.